Hi 5K, welcome to Tuesday's reading lesson. For our lesson today, we are going to take care of and finish three doc pages in our workbook today. So you can find your doc workbook in a pencil. You'll need that for today. Our first page that we're gonna do in our workbook is going to take care of our learning target, one of our main goals for today, where we're trying to go, what we're trying to do. The learning target for today is I will trace and write lowercase d. That's going to be um, one main thing that you're going to do today for our first page. And then the other two pages that we're going to do are going to be good um, listening pages for that uh, d, d, d sound. So here we go. You can open it up, open your workbook up to page four. The page four with all of those lowercase d's. Yesterday you uh, traced those and wrote those uppercase d's. Today we're gonna do lowercase. So before you start tracing and doing these, what I wanna do is show you on the big ice cream paper how to write a lowercase d, how you're supposed to do it. So just watch carefully for no. So what, you're, what you need to do is always start at your chocolate chip like always, right? Now, notice that the chocolate chip is not at the top like your uppercase Ds. Remember, you start at the top for your uppercase Ds, but for your lowercase, what you do is start, and then you go around. You basically make an O at first. You go back up, and here's the key part. You don't pick up your pencil. You actually keep going straight up, straight up, straight up, and then you trace down, 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 straight back down again, all the way down to chocolate. That's how you make a lowercase d. You never have to pick up your pencil when you make a lowercase d. So I should not see, I should, I'll make a bad one over here. I should not see a circle and then a line disconnected. I shouldn't see that because you never actually have to pick up your pencil to make this. So you shouldn't have a space in there. All you have to do is start your chocolate chip, touch vanilla, go around, 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 touch chocolate, go up, and then you do not pick up your pencil at this point. You keep going up, 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 up to strawberry, and you trace straight back down, all the way down to chocolate. See? Watch me do it one more time. Watch how I don't pick up my pencil, how I go around, straight up, and straight down. That's how you make a lowercase d. Now, what I want you to do for these next ones is use your teacher eyes and tell me if I did a good job or a bad job, okay? I'm gonna do some good ones or some bad ones on this line, and you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Okay, how is this one? You tell me. How is that? Is that thumbs up or thumbs down? That's a thumbs down, right? Because there's too much space in here. You don't need that much space. You have, you have to come straight back down. Don't come out this way. Okay, so that's a thumbs down. What about um, this one? Watch me make this one. What about that? That's a thumbs down too, yeah. First of all, I did not start on the chocolate chip. I, I started way in the middle. You have to start on the dot on the chocolate chip. And I only used this tiny little space for this uppercase D. I mean, sorry, for the lowercase D, you have to touch that top strawberry line, don't you? I only used half the space. That's too small for the ice cream lines. So too small. Use all your space that you have to. Um, okay, how about this one? Tell me how I do on this one. That's good, right? Yeah, that's good. It went straight up, straight down. There's no, no space, not too much space. I used all the ice cream lines. How about this one? Nope, that's a thumbs down, isn't it? I remember you don't have to pick up your pencil, so I shouldn't see a circle and a line separate. Yeah. Okay, 
one more one more and then you can um pause the video and make a few of your own but one more what about this one that's a thumbs down too yeah because my circle part of it does not touch vanilla. See, it's too small. It doesn't go up and touch that middle line. It has to go touch the vanilla, touch chocolate, go all the way up and all the way down. Okay, so that's a good one. Good one to end on. So what you can do at this point is pause the video and do your lowercase d's. Remember to start at the chocolate chip and trace your first ones at first go from left to right from top to bottom right so you trace and then you don't have to make your own until you get to here so you can pause the video at this point and finish page four so that you don't have to do it later so go ahead and finish your lowercase d's and then also when you get to the bottom realize that there is a couple uppercase and lowercase too isn't there at the bottom line, they want you to make an uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase here, slide, belly, slide, remember, and then a lowercase. So you get to make two uppercase and two lowercases on your own, actually, down here. So you can go ahead and do this page now, and, um, and then I'll see you for page five after that. Okay. All right, 5K, did you finish your lowercase d's, your page four? If you did, good. That means you're ready to move on to page five with me because you have to write some lowercase d's on this page too. So it's good that you have that practice for page four if you finish that first. So if you're done, you can do page five now. So this is going to be a listening page because uh, Doc is going to tell us about some broken toys. And if the word they say Starts with a D, we'll write a lowercase d, and if it doesn't, we'll make an X. So, listen to Doc uh, tell us about those toys. Here we go. Meet the Super Kids. Student Book. Unit 5, page 5. Listen carefully and follow my directions. When you hear this sound, your teacher will pause this recording so you have time to mark your answer. Look at the picture of Doc and her tool chest. Doc! Hello, Doc! Hey, Doc! Oh, hello, Cass! Creeping crocodiles! What's this crazy contraption? It has so many wheels and arms and screws. That's my newest machine! What does it do? This is a put-on-your-socks machine. I heard you hammering. Were you hammering on your put-on-your-socks machine? No, I was hammering on a new drawer. See, I keep all my tools for fixing things in my tool chest. It has lots of little drawers to hold pins and glue, and tacks and string, and needles and thread and nails. <laughs> Yesterday, I stepped on a drawer and broke it. So I was just making a new one. See, it's all finished. That's a pretty good little drawer. Drawer. Does drawer begin with the sound d? If your answer is yes, write lowercase d on the lines on Doc's tool chest. If your answer is no, mark an X on the lines. All right, so let's sound out drawer. Let's sound out drawer. We'll do my turn and your turn. D, d, drawer, your turn. D, d, drawer. Does drawer start with the D sound, the D, D, D sound? Yeah, it does. So what you're going to do is make a lowercase d on those ice cream lines on top of her um, sock drawer, her sock drawer's machine. So remember, start below vanilla, circle like an O, and then trace up, 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 up to strawberry, and then straight down again. All right. Now that we have that one, we can move on to the next one, the, that dishwasher looking thing. Let's, let's hear what she has to say about that. 
Now look at the picture of the toy sink and dishes. How come you brought your toy sink and your dishes with you? Well, this morning I was in a hurry to go out and play. I was washing the dishes and cleaning up the mess I made cooking, and I dropped a dish. It broke into all these pieces. Do you think we can fix it? It's such a nice dish. Sure, we can fix it. I have some glue we can use. Let's see. Yep, here's the glue. I'll put some on the dish and then put the pieces back together. Your dish will be all fixed by this afternoon. Great, I'll come and get it after the baseball game. Thanks a lot, Doc. Bye. Bye, see you later. Dish. Does dish begin with the sound d? If your answer is yes, write lowercase d on the lines next to the toy sink. If your answer is no, mark an X on the lines. All right, so Doc was gonna fix that dish for her, how nice. Let's sound out dish together. Ready, my turn. D, d, dish, your turn, d, d, dish. Does dish start with that d, d, d sound? Yes, it does. So we're going to make a lowercase d again on those ice cream lines next to the dishwasher. So make your nicest, neatest lowercase d there. Remember, don't pick up your pencil when you make your lowercase d. All right. Once you have your lowercase d, we're ready to move on to that watch picture. Let's hear what she has to say about that. Now look at the picture of the watch. Hi, Alf. How's it going? Hi, Doc. Not too good. I keep being late for everything. How come? Oh, because my watch is broken, so I never know what time it is. See, I was pretending I was exploring, and my watch was a walkie-talkie radio, and I twisted the dial to make the radio come in loud and clear. But I guess I twisted too much because it is stuck. So now, my dandy watch that tells the time and the day, and even what direction I'm walking in, is no good. Oh, uh, that's crummy, Al. You really need that watch when you go on adventures. Yeah. Would you please look at it and see if you can figure out what it needs to make it work again? Oh, sure. Let's see. Gee, Alf, it looks like all you did was wind it too much. You didn't really break anything. I think I can fix it. Hmm. I'll just pull this out and turn it carefully. There, now try your watch. Listen. Hey, it's ticking again. Thanks very much for fixing my watch. Watch. Does watch begin with the sound d? If your answer is yes, write lowercase d on the lines next to the watch. If your answer is no, mark an x on the lines. All right, so Alf got his watch fixed. How nice. Let's sound out watch, okay? Wa, wa, watch. Your turn. Wa, wa, watch. Does watch start with d, d, d? Nope. So we're going to make an X on the line next to the watch because it does not start with that d, d, d sound. Okay. We're going to look at this next page. It looks like a book with a big old dragon on it or something. Let's hear about that. Now look at the picture of the book with the dragon. Hi, Doc. Hi, Aslan. I came over to show you this book I made. It's all about dragons. Dragons? Yeah, I made up lots of crazy dragons. See, they're all different. Now this one is bright purple with silver stars and green sparkles. And instead of feet, he has two wheels, like a motorcycle. <laughs> Look at this one, Oz. You've given him red, pink, orange, and blue polka dots. And he has eight legs. He's sort of an octo dragon fist. <laughs> <laughs> this one's the granddaddy of them all. He's as big as a bus. And he has bright lights that go on and off all down his tail. He also has wings like an airplane. 
because he flew down to Earth from the moon. Yeah! Oops, I got so excited I tore the moon dragon right out of the book. Well, I can fix your book in a jiffy. I'll just tape the ripped out moon dragon page back together. See? Gee, thanks, Doc. If I'd lost my moon dragon, it would have read my dragon book. All your book needed was some tape. Now your book about dragons is as good as new. Dragon. Does dragon begin with the sound d? If your answer is yes, write lowercase d on the lines next to the dragon book. If your answer is no, mark an x on the lines. All right, so let's sound out dragon together. Doc taped up his dragon book. How nice. Let's sound out dragon. My turn. D, D, dragon. Your turn. D, D, dragon. Does D, D, dragon start with D, D, the D sound? Yes, it does. Yeah, so make a lowercase d next to the dragon book that she taped together. Make a lowercase d in that spot. All right, let's look at the turtle. Let's hear what she has to say about that. Now look at the picture of the toy turtle. Hey, golly, what's the trouble? Look, Oz, golly has his old toy turtle with him. Do you want me to figure out what's wrong with your toy turtle, Golly? Oh, oh. Okay, let's see. When you pull the turtle along by the string, it's supposed to roll after you on its wheels. But now the turtle just bumps. Hmm. Oh, I see what the problem is. One of the wheels is missing. Do you think you can fix Golly's toy turtle? Sure. See this little wheel? I think it will fit Golly's turtle fine. I'll just nail it on. Better. Okay, golly.